This is going to be a comparison of the TI-84 Plus CE and the Casio FX CG50. So these two have a lot in common and I probably won't cover all of the individual features of each. I'll mostly be looking at the important differences between these two. So in terms of hardware, you can see they are a similar size and shape. Uh, they both have similar button layouts with numbers down here and then a directional pad and then the contextual keys up top. And then one of the most obvious hardware differences is the thickness. The TI-84 Plus CE you can see is quite a bit slimmer and a lot of that is because it has a built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery on the back whereas the Casio uses four AAA batteries for its power source and that results in a slightly thicker frame as you can see. So there's benefits and drawbacks obviously to having disposable batteries versus a rechargeable battery. One being weight, this is bulkier and it's also heavier. But using four AAAs is going to last you a lot longer than one charge on the rechargeable battery that the Texas Instruments has. But then the obvious drawback is if you're on of batteries, you have to buy new ones. And then if you want to, you have the option of buying rechargeable AAA batteries and then you can put those in the Casio and use the charging cord that comes with the calculator to charge the batteries without having to take them out. So both calculators come with a relatively high resolution color screen and they are similarly sized, although you can see the screen on the Casio is a bit taller and a bit wider. Both calculators are all plastic and the Casio has this fake carbon fiber looking pattern on the panel behind the buttons and the TI-84 Plus has plain matte plastic behind the buttons and that comes in quite a few different colors. This is the gold version. Okay, next I'll be talking about the software and operating systems on each of these calculators. Here is probably where you'll be spending most of your time. This is the main home calculation screen. Like almost every other calculator, you just type in an expression and then hit enter and you'll get your original expression that will stack up over on the left and then you'll get your answer over on the right. And as you keep entering more and more expressions, they will pile up and you get a sort of list of history and on both you can use the arrow pad to go up and select one of your previous calculations and then copy that into the line below. So one big thing about each of these calculators to keep in mind is that neither of them has a CAS or computer algebra system. So this means that you won't be able to perform most operations involving letter variables and solving equations that don't have plain numeric answers. So if you want to do things like that, uh, you'll have to look at a different calculator like the HP Prime or the TI Inspire CX CAS. But what that does mean is that each of these are going to be allowed on almost every standard test. So for example, the ACT does not allow CAS calculators. And because of that, you wouldn't be able to use something like the TI Inspire CX CAS, but you would be able to use either of these. But there is one way that the Casio has a leg up in terms of general calculation, and that is its ability to give exact answers. So if I type in the square root of 24 here and then press enter, you'll see TI-84 plus CE gives me only the decimal answer, but the Casio will give the simplified radical form of the square root of 24 and it'll also do that for things like fractions. So if you type in an unsimplified fraction, you will get it in simplest form. And then anytime you want, uh, you can always just press this button right here and it will toggle in between the decimal answer and the answer in the exact form. And this also works with a lot of common trig functions. So for example, sine of pi over three, I will get the square root of three over two rather than just a decimal approximation like I get on the TI-84 Plus CE. So in addition to all the functions that appear on the keyboard here, each of these calculators has a menu for different functions that can be used in the calculation app. Here is the one on the Texas Instruments and then here is the one on the Casio. Both let you do things like derivatives, definite integrals, and summations. And then while I'm in this menu, uh, I'll just point something out that kind of bugs me about most Casio graphing calculators and it's this little menu down here. So they use that heavily in almost every single one of their apps. When you are in a menu, the menu only takes up this much of the screen and you use these little contextual buttons here to select which item you want. TI-84 does this much less. 
although it does have these contextual buttons. Most of the time you'll be selecting something from a list like this that takes up the entire screen and I definitely prefer the menu system on the TI-84 Plus because you can much more easily see what's going on and see what you're selecting. With the menu system like this on the Casio there are a lot more confusing abbreviations crammed into these little tiny boxes and it's not too bad in this menu but in a lot of other apps the heavy abbreviation can be kind of confusing. Okay before I move on I'll do a couple speed tests. So here's the first one this is the integral of e to the x from 1 to 200 and I'm pressing enter right now. So you can see the Casio was much quicker on that, and that is going to be the theme for the rest of the video. Okay, this next test is probably going to take quite a bit longer, so I'm just going to skip to the results. But this is the sum of e to the 0.001x, where x is going from 1 to 10,000. And I have my phone here, I'm going to time them, and I'm going to press enter on both calculators right now. So there you can see the Casio spit out the answer relatively quickly, and the TI-84 Plus CE is still plugging away. So there you go, that's a pretty significant time difference. 20 seconds versus almost 120. Obviously this means the Casio is going to be much faster for almost anything involving internal calculation. But for the most part, both of these will be just fine for most of the operations you're going to be performing day to day in any math class. Okay, next I'm going to do a graphing speed test. Here I have the three functions sine of x squared, tangent of x, and 0.5x. And I'm going to press graph at the same time on both calculators right now. And you can see unsurprisingly that the Casio FXCG50 finished much quicker than the TI-84 Plus, which is still going here. And there you go, finally the TI-84 Plus CE finished. So that's a pretty significant time difference and quite a slow performance from the TI-84 Plus. It does get kind of annoying if you're graphing a lot of stuff to have to wait that long every time you want to see a picture of your function. Also, if you zoom in or out on the page, um, you're going to have to wait for it to redraw the whole thing before you get to see the complete picture. That is also the case on the Casio except obviously uh, it graphs faster, so you'll have to wait less time. And then in the graphing app, both calculators have the ability to show you things like maximum and minimum values or intersects for any of your functions. That shows up in a menu at the bottom on the Casio, and then you just hit second calc and you get a list for those functions on the TI-84+. Also, both calculators have the ability to graph different types of functions, so right now we just did normal Cartesian coordinates, but you can also graph in parametric or polar coordinates on both calculators. So again, both calculators have a lot of things in common. Here are the respective screens with the different apps that each calculator has. Here on the Casio, you get this nice visual colored menu, and then on the TI-84+, Plus, you get a list here. The following things are basically the same on each calculator, and those things are the spreadsheet apps, the apps for graphing conic sections, the apps for a table of values of your functions rather than a graph, the equation solver app, although for this one I will say that the one on the TI-84+, Plus seems to be a little bit more intuitive. You can see you get this nice template of your equations here. This is f for solving a system of equations, whereas on the Casio it's more in a matrix form. You have the equation laid out up here for reference, but then down here it's just a simple matrix that you enter the values in. This type of layout on the TI-84 Plus is, in my opinion, easier to understand. Both calculators, in my opinion, have very capable and comparable programming interfaces for creating your own programs. Both have apps for common financial functions, both have apps for unit conversion and more, both have full periodic tables. The one on the Casio does look quite a bit more detailed from this view, but once you actually press enter on one of the elements, you can see here that the TI-84 Plus has quite a bit more information about each element, whereas the Casio doesn't have much more than a picture, the electron configuration, and the atomic weight. So the biggest feature that the Casio FXCG50 has that the TI-84 Plus CE does not is 3D graphing. So on the TI-84 Plus, 
there is no built-in way to graph 3D functions. But the Casio has this app here, and from what I've seen, it is pretty good. So you can graph up to three functions at a time, and you can go in here and pick the type of function you want, and then the calculator will give you a template to enter your function in. Or if you want to, you can just graph any generic 3D function, and you can also graph a generic parametric 3D function. So here, for example, is a parametric function. This is a simple helix, and you click draw, and it'll take a second to load, and then you'll get this box with a window that you can set, and after it's loaded, you can use the arrows to spin the box around, and then view it from almost any angle you want. That helix example graphed relatively quickly, but for more intensive shapes, it will take a little bit longer. Here is a simple sphere of radius 2. And you can see it takes a little while longer to load that up, but once it's in, again, you can spin it around without having to wait for it to regraph the shape. And here's one more example. This is z equals sine x plus cosine y. So that's it for this comparison. In general, these two are very similar in terms of features and capabilities, but the TI-84 Plus CE is much more widely used, and a lot of math classes in high school require it, or at least they say they require it, but I see the Casio FXCG50 as a good, if not better, and cheaper alternative that's not nearly as widely used, but I would say is just as capable. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.